Attributes are an essential part of Houdini and are used for a ton of different things. One thing you may not know that you can use them for is to drive parameters of other notes. So let's take a look at how we can do this. Let's drop in a geometry node. And in here, let's drop in a sphere. And I'm just gonna leave it as a polygon mesh and just increase the rows all the way up to 50. And I'm also gonna drop in a distance along geometry. Now we're gonna remap this. This is not actually necessary because this node gives you the ability to do it. But in other situations, this might become useful if you don't have that ability right off the bat. So this will just be as an example. So let's essentially do the same thing. Let's just do it a different way. So we'll do an attribute promote because we want to get the maximum distance. And actually, before I do that, we need to set a starting point here. So I'm gonna use the starting point of zero, which is just this top, uh, this top one. And if I change this to CD, you can see what this looks like. So it's basically going from zero all the way down to the bottom uh, with our color. Let's leave that as a distance attribute and you can see in our spreadsheet here you can see the different values so let's go back to this attribute promote and take this distance attribute and promote it to a detail we're going to keep the original and i don't want the average i want the maximum because we want to get the maximum distance away from the point that we selected so if we go to our detail attributes now you see we get the largest value and then we want to remap this, like I said, so we'll do an attribute remap. And we can either compute this range, which you may not want, but we need to put in our distance first. We can compute this range, which gives us that maximum value. But we don't want to do that because that's not a procedural workflow. And we would have to do that every time we scaled our sphere. We can just go ahead and use our detail attribute. So we'll do a detail attribute and we need to provide it the node that we want to look at. So we'll do the node right above. So the attribute promote, because if you use the same node, it will do a recursive error and uh, won't let you do it. So we're going to access the distance attribute. So dist, and then we want to just use that first value. So with this, this allows us to take a look at uh, the maximum value in here and if I, I if I check that you see that it gives us the same value that we had before and just remaps it to zero to one and I'm just going to set this to CD for our color just so we can visualize what's going on and if I go ahead and drag this all the way down you can see that this now is remapping all the way to the very last uh, very last point there which is the farthest point from what we selected if I were to just delete this channel, let's see, delete channels, and set this back. If I drag this along now, you can see that it only goes to about halfway from our sphere. So let's undo that real quick and go up to our sphere here. And as we increase our scale here, you can see that this continues to adjust based on the size of our sphere. And we can adjust this however we want. So that's just a simple way that you can access the attributes. Now you can do this with more than just detail. You can do it with the all the different um, point attributes and primitives. You can do pretty much any attribute inside of here you can access just with the different the different functions. And this will work in almost all of these different vex fields that you can input. It doesn't work in all of them, but in a lot of them it will work. So just keep that in mind as well. So hopefully this helped you out. Uh, if you didn't know that you can access the values for attributes to make procedural setups this way, you can, and uh, maybe it'll help you create something in the future. But anyways, I have a bunch of other videos on Houdini to do different things. So if you want to learn more about Houdini, make sure to check those out. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.